Kabam broccoli leaves Kabam. Big surge. Players not permitted to play MCC in this country. What is going on with ghost and phasing recoil damage and much, much more. Yes, hello everybody, welcome to the Marvel Contest of Champions News show for Wednesday. How you doing? Just a little bit of a reminder, make sure to tune in each and every day for fresh Marvel Contest of Champions related content from news inf information, grind guides and all that stuff. A lot of people have said to me in the last few weeks, oh, have you done this video? Have you done that? Have you covered this? Have you covered that? And I have, so do make sure to come back to the channel. We'll keep locked to Twitter as well as Discord where I post the uh, little links to uh, go and check out the videos. And I had the same question posed to me about Marvel Future Revolution, which I do post content on the second channel called Rich's Revolution. Nearly at 4,000 subs, and as well, I am a free-to-play player currently in that game. So if you want to see what uh, two months' progress is going to look like, then please make sure to subscribe. We're nearly at the 4K mark. We can do it. Come on. Go and subscribe. Go check out the game. It's a really good game. And also, we've got to give some thanks. Thank you so much to everybody that is a YouTube member. You're on screen right now, as well as Patreons. Thank you for keeping and supporting the channel going during these uh, tough times that they are. And also... Those that support over on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. We'll be doing a lot of Cavalier difficulty and should con continue that on tonight after I drop an Objectives Grind Guide. So it should be fun. So yeah, thanks very much for those that give Tier 1 subs, Bit, the Amazon Prime Free Twitch sub, as well as Tier 2 subs and donations and everything like that. Thank you so much. Right, let's get down to business. We kick off the show by covering the fact that some players aren't able to get into the game at the moment. Especially with some people from what I gather in Bangladesh, as well as some, maybe some other countries very recently unable to get in. We're saying this item is not available in your country, which is big sad. It's really big sad for those that want to access and play the game. Some people are advised to go and get uh, the APK version of the game and open it up via there. Some people have said obviously to go down the route of a VPN. And that's just the thing and sad thing about it. Like, I'm trying to find out, like, which countries this is indeed kind of associated with. It does seem like it could be uh, Bangladesh. I don't know if there's any other though, uh, countries on the list. But many are saying, like, you know, maybe using APK Mirror and in particular going down that route could be the best solution for you at this given time. So, yeah, um, hopefully that works. Or maybe some other options would work as well. Or maybe Kabam could get it sorted that it could play the game. Uh, but there could be country restrictions on the reason that you're not able to see it in that Google Play store. Next up, and you want to see something incredible? Well, look at what Super Duper Boo has put together. This is a absolutely amazing kind of mock comic book creation. You can see it's like... It, it's an it's an Aegon. It's an Aegon comic in a very kind of classic comic book style, which hey, I'm all about and I absolutely love. There's little details to this, like uh, over here there is the release date of Aegon in the bottom left hand corner where the barcode is. Uh, but apart from that, it's done amazingly. I think Super Duper Boo has done a few of these, so I'll put a link to his Twitter in the description below. Yeah, and this is another sick version of uh, of kind of like a, a comic book, but it's kind of Marvel Contest the Champion style. Uh, yeah, so there's a Venom pool right there, which is uh, just amazing. And everybody on the forums loves it as well. So, And even Gabriel Fazera gave it a like. So that's good to see. I love artwork within this community. By the way, Art Corner will be this Friday as well. Okay, next up, and a little bit of uh, sad news to let you know. Very sad news that Kabam Broccoli is leaving uh, Mar Marvel Contest Champions and Kabam. And you can see he these are the various champions that he's done over his tenure with... Uh, with the company, he's only been there a couple years or three years, few years, and has done. Uh, he's called it says he refers to as Noodle Man because you know uh, Ebony more than that. But I did the Grand Master Nick Fury? Uh, wow, well, you know there's some bangers. Like there, there's a lot of bangers that he's done from Doctor Doom. Uh, you got Strife, Love Strife, great champion. Uh, Mortal Abomination, a little bit of um, a favorite for me. Doesn't look that nice, but there, there you go. Hercules, Kitty Pride. And there may be one other one to come. Whatever that will be, uh, we'll have to see. And that will be, um, yeah, I get a feeling you might have done uh, the the kind of like updated Kang. But, you know, could, I could be wrong with that one in any case. So, yeah, all very exciting times. But really sad to see him go, especially because of the um, amazing work that he has done uh, for the Champions Design in the past for the company. Especially doing uh, My Boy Apocalypse and as well Red Guardian, two champions I like. Mangog, eh, 
But apart from that, he has too many too many thumbs up than he does have to thumbs down with uh, with wins with champions. I strongly recommend everybody go into the link in the description, which will take you to the Twitter post that he put up, and, and just say like you know some thankful words of his time. I think we all wish him. I'd like to know what he's doing in the future. Like wherever he goes is going to be an asset for that company. But Noodle Man, aka Caban Broccoli, which I would just throw into like Noodle Man, and also uh, part of like Game Studios, which I think is uh, Tiger NDV Studios. Uh, does showcase various things he's worked on from indie developed games, uh, which, as you know, we cover a lot of indie indie games on the on the channel um, a lot of the time at the weekend, which is nice because this is the thing: when people have dreams to create their own games, it's not a case you can make a AAA game with the amount of money that you can. You've got to start off small. You've got to dream big. So, uh, total respect, total love goes out to uh, to Kabam Broccoli, aka Noodle Man and uh, his future endeavors, which looks to be to create uh, these kind of like, uh, just lovely little world pixel type games, as well as various other games as well. So yeah, much love and respect. And now for something completely random. If you smell what Brian Grant is cooking. Yes, that was completely random. And now we move on to a very important story, and that is all about Ghost Can't Phase Recoil with Hood on the team. I know somebody reached out to me a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, I think it was, it was a couple weeks, it wasn't so long ago, and said, uh, hey, you know, Skabam, know about this. Uh, at the time they did, but uh, not much has really been kind of like looked into with this. So yeah, many people back in the latter point of August were saying like, "Hey, Kabam, the timing is totally off when it's try when when we when we try to phase recoil with Hood on the team." I'd like to know if uh, you're already uh, looking into this. So yeah, um, as you know, last month we talked about ghost-related problems a little bit with when it comes to the movement with the five-hit combo going into throwing a special attack, and its uh, timing was completely off. There's also a lot of things that came with that on the back of it that seems to be. Off as well and I don't think the update indeed was something that sorted this out as well as repaired it and here's a little bit of this in action as it seems because that's the biggest thing you know you want to see some like information of this information and that's just the thing you want to see that recoil damage when indeed you're phasing because you know you kind of think right that's meant to interact uh, thusly with uh, the way that the champion works feels and acts so as you can see here building up to the sp2 and then it's going to be a case of going into the phase or at least trying to phase at the point of then special attack throw in there boom and boom recoil damage in the phase so it's like it's kind of weird isn't it what's weird about it is at this point the phase kind of like shrugs off and then reapplies so like you can see in the scene here it's like well is it, it, what, what, what's happening because it was on for a second then it goes and we play the scene again and then as soon as the special attack is finished, it then goes back into what is a phase, but also the recoil damage is then seen by here. So this is uh, something that doesn't look to be working as correct. I mean, there, there you can see there's a recoil damage right there, but the phasing should be something that doesn't really kind of, it shouldn't, it shouldn't ever matter if you run Suicide Masteries if you're using Ghost, because it should, um, phase the recoil damage. The biggest update I found on this is uh, Kibambu saying yesterday that uh, our team is aware of this and we'll look into it. Does anyone have a video of how it was working before and how it's working now? If so, please keep free uh, to share here. Um, I mean, there's plenty. There's like, there's tons of footage out there. I mean, here's a good example, right? Uh, right here is a GIF that basically showcases that whilst uh, in that particular process, uh, with the recoil, there's no damage uh, to the uh, to left uh, left hand corner of the fight. So yeah, I mean, like we all know, we all know how ghost kind of functions. We all know that this is um, you know, is meant to meant to be working fine with the way it interacts with recoil damage. Uh, something has gone amiss since uh, since late August. Whatever's been worked on has kind of like been a big uh, no no. But it looks like to me more logically that they're because they're putting in a phase based champion or like they've put in a miss based champion or maybe they're putting in something that is like kitty pride maybe by replicating something or putting in a i don't know source of coding or something that you have to apply for champions that do phasing that uh inadvertently it then bumps off something that was being worked for something else and therefore ghost is um is then not working as it should be so 
Yeah, um, not much of an update there on that situation, except for that uh, Kabam is indeed working on it. Uh, but as soon as I get more information, I indeed, indeed will try and let you know. So this is why you got to keep locked and keep, you know, yeah, keep locked to the channel because we'll be trying to cover this stuff. So yeah, make sure to keep yourself updated by checking out the videos when they're posted on the channel each and every day and Monday, Wednesday and Friday when it comes to the news based show. Now, Kitty Pride and Angela predictions. Yes, this is going to be tough. This is going to be the next arena, and I think that this is going to be ridiculous with Kitty Pride. Let's go over stuff because we've got Angela in the basic, and I think that's going to go low. Kitty Pride is a six star. I'm going with 165 mil. Really think that's ridiculous. The problem is we've got a lot of these rumored bots, arena bots in the um, in the featured still, which makes it tough. But I don't know if it's going to go as high as Hercules did. I just kind of feel like 165 mil is going to get you the like, I don't know, 80 to 90 position if I'm being brutally honest. Maybe even yeah, 80 to 100. Of course, that's going to be like so tough to kind of get sorted. But the five star version, 60 mil, I'm going with the prediction. And just a six star, I'm going with 40 mil. I just don't think it's just strong enough. That, I even think that it could go lower than that. I think like 30 to 40 mil is probably going to be enough. But I think 40 mil is going to have to be that safe bet there for that champion. 20 mil for the five star again. I just don't know if it's like overly popular for players to kind of go grind, but enough to see. So say like, okay, I'm getting this champion for the very first time. Maybe a duping could be like, hey, this is great. Um, I've got the awakening. 20 mil, I think, is fair for that. So yeah, those have been my predictions for round one of the Kitty Pride and Angela Arena. Very good luck to you if you're doing the grind. Sorry, I'm predicting so high, but then, bot man. What can you do? There we go. That has been the Marvel Contest of Champions news show for Wednesday. Make sure to keep locked to the channel later on today. We're going to do Objectives Grind Guide. It's going to be week two of the Objectives Grind Guide. And I'm going to be like doing a, uh, a guide for that. So appreciate you. Make sure to tune in for that one. And see you very soon. Bye-bye.